Weather coverage you can count on with Alabama's Weather Anchor of the Year, Way 31's Chief Meteorologist, Kate McKenna. It has been a really nice evening all across North Alabama. Nice because the temperatures are cool. Nice because the humidity is low as well. Take a look at what we've got here all across the Way 31 Thompson Roofing and Construction Skycam Network. We're at 72 degrees still in Muscle Shoals elsewhere. We've cooled to the mid to upper 60s. We're at 69 in Huntsville, 65 in Decatur, and 67 in Gunnersville. Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network showing no rain at each one of our three radars. It will stay that way, so through tonight, got your forecast low down to 60 degrees. It is clear, it is cool, and some locations will be getting as cool as really the upper 50s, especially across northeast Alabama. As we go through the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning, we keep that mostly clear sky. Now you will see a few passing clouds tomorrow, but nothing that's going to bring us any rain and through tomorrow night all the way into now Sunday morning, we've got more of the same. So generally speaking, it is quiet this weekend. We've got nice weather this weekend. As we get into next week, it doesn't stay quite as nice, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Remember, it's going to be cool tomorrow morning and even through the afternoon. It's not terribly hot. The humidity stays low. The wind continues mainly out of the north, keeping that cooler, drier air filtering in. So temperatures will be topping out in the 80s. I'll show you that pool forecast with the forecast high temperature in just a second, but 81 degrees by noon, 83 at 3 o'clock. And speaking of the pool forecast, this is really kind of the perfect weather for lounging poolside because it's not so uncomfortable to be out of the pool and it's warm enough to be in the pool and enjoy it. 87 degrees is your forecast high. Sunny, remember, from start to finish. But let's talk about how things will be changing for us. We've got this approaching cold front next week and it pretty much stalls out just to our north as we get into around Tuesday night and Wednesday. And at that point in time, we'll have this very active picture take over here. So scattered showers and thunderstorms are back in our forecast. And some data is suggesting that maybe we could see some stronger storms, a little more organization with those storms Wednesday into Wednesday night. So just something to keep in mind that a stronger storm can't be ruled out. But generally speaking, it is just going to be a more active situation Tuesday into Wednesday. Earlier, you were hearing about what could be Tropical Storm Alex. Well, keep in mind that we're at the minimum threshold for a tropical storm right now with maximum sustained wind of 40 miles per hour. There's just not enough organization here with this center of low pressure, multiple centers of circulation. So we can't call this a tropical storm just yet, but the National Hurricane Center is still forecasting this to become a tropical storm by tomorrow morning before we see that center move on shore in South Florida. And you're still hearing that the bigger story with this is all of the rain that is coming to South Florida. It's no threat to us here in North Alabama. It's going back out into the Atlantic by the end of the weekend. So our 7-day forecast looks like this. Notice the rain chances that are higher by Tuesday and Wednesday, and the temperatures are also higher by that point in time. Take advantage of this really nice weekend that we've got. Low humidity this time of year doesn't come by that often because next week it's getting humid, it's getting hot, and it's getting stormy yet again.